Time now for Hawk Zone, sponsored by Muckleshoot Casino. The Seahawks improved their record to two and one with a win over the Carolina Panthers in front of a very loud home crowd at Lumen Field. And Terry Holloman was there. Terry, can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me, Terry? What was that? I can't hear you. Something <laughs> happened to my hearing yesterday. I'm sure, but kidding aside, I mean, it did seem like the crowd noise like left its mark. The Panthers committed eight false starts. Yes, they that did. That was like legit crowd-related noise. Right? Yes, it is the loudest that that stadium has been in a very long time, and you got to think about it. It has been notoriously the loudest stadium in the NFL mm -hmm. in any major sports, and so. The 12s really showed up yesterday. They showed why they are called the 12s, the 12th man on the field. Yep. They affected the game tremendously. Eight false starts is, is, is huge. The, the, the Seahawks are happy. They're proud of us today. Absolutely They're proud, of the proud of us, yes. Uh, Jason Myers had a nice bounce back game, too. Uh, he made five field goals, all five that he attempted. Yes, that's, he like, did. that's a great day any day, right? It is. I mean, you got to think about it. This guy has had a rough couple of weeks. He missed some crucial field goals mm -hmm. for the Seahawks early on the season. And when you're a kicker, that kind of thing gets in your head like oh, this. Yeah. You spend the whole rest of the week spinning around. What did I do wrong? Did I place my foot wrong? Did I swing my leg wrong? He comes Comes back this past weekend versus the Panthers, five field goals. His confidence is back. He, the team's back supporting him. Everybody loves him now. Yeah. So it was a good day for that him. That has got to be the one, like the hardest position in football is the kicker. Because like you uh, got one job I, and when you don't do it, everyone hates you. I don't know if it's the hardest one. It's, I mean, probably, I, the, it's <laughs> probably the most, you know, criticized. Pressure. Because there's a lot of pressure. I wouldn't want to have that kind of pressure because they only bring you on like in situations where the game is on the line right and then you miss and everybody hates you I mean how do you do I hope that they have someone to like, they help gotta have you a therapist there yes. has, there's a problem there needs to be a professional kicker therapist that, that has to be a job somewhere I mean I gotta be honest if I'm a teammate I would be like oh come on man it'd be hard so okay kudos yeah. to Jason yeah. uh, it took some time to get going but what did you like about the run game yeah it's finally good to see these guys get the run game going that's really been the recipe for this franchise having a strong solid run game going back to the days of Marshawn Lynch and then yeah. having a strong defense. Seeing Kenneth Walker the third get off yesterday, almost 100 yards, 97 yards. It's crucial for these guys to get going in the run game. And Zach Charbonnet, the one-two punch of those guys, it was incredible to watch. That is so cool. Yeah. Uh, what about the pass rush? What did you see there? Again, a pass rush has you know been a little difficult, slow start this season, but this past weekend, three sacks led by Jaron Reed, a guy that we got back in the fold. We actually traded him away a couple years ago. He's back with the Seahawks. They're in love with this guy. Mm -hmm. His energy is infectious, and they were all over Andy Dalton, the Panthers quarterback. Uh, he got a sack and a half. Uh, Boye Mafe had a sack. There's a lot of pressure on Andy Dalton, which actually got him uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, not just the sacks, but just the pressure on him. So it was good to see that in effect this past weekend. Okay, that is really, look at that. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Who was your game MVP? It was tough for me because Jaron Reed, like I said, had an incredible game, mm -hmm. a lot of pressure on the Panthers quarterback. But to me, the guy that stood out the most, rookie Devin Witherspoon. Uh, they showed why he was so valuable to pick up early on in the draft. They actually targeted him 11 times. Andy Dalton threw the ball 11 times in his direction, trying to pick on him a little bit. Mm -hmm. But there was only three completions to his side for 19 yards. So that's incredible. And then you saw him all all over the field. Number 21 was everywhere, making tackles. He had tackles. You normally don't see a cornerback making that many tackles, right. but he had 11 wow. tackles. Yeah, so we see why he's such a physical presence in that defensive yeah. backfield and why the Seahawks were so happy to get him. Yes, yeah. okay. So he's my MVP. So I love it. Yeah. All right, yeah. Terry's MVP, you're Terry's welcome. MVP. Uh, next up, the Seahawks hit the road with a showdown against the Giants in Monday Night Football, so not all, uh, a lot of there. Yeah. Well, so. Monday Night is always a big game. It's the only game in town. Everybody's eyes around the country are going to be trained on the Seahawks and the Giants, so it's a big game. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys have had a circle for a long time. Uh, the New York Giants have been struggling a little oh, okay, bit. Yeah, okay. they, they have one win this season against the Arizona Cardinals where they had to come back from a 20-point deficit, Ooh. and they got blown out by the Dallas Cowboys. But again, it's Monday night. Yeah. It's the NFL, uh, so we're predicting to be a, you know, a, a, a close game. But I, I, I predict that the Seahawks will blow them out. 
Yeah, and it's on the road, too. It's on so, the road. So, I mean, there's a couple of things working against our Hawks, but all right, we'll keep an eye on that one. Seahawks have been getting a lot of injuries. Yes. Which is not good yes. this early in the season. We don't like seeing that. Several of those guys are expected, though, to be back for the Giants game. Fingers crossed, right? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yeah, we, we've had some serious injuries, problems, especially on the offensive line. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, some of those guys will be back. One of the guys that they say is going to be back that I'm most excited about, Amity, yeah. Jamal Adams. Okay. He's been gone for a long time, and if we can get him back in the fold, just the excitement that he brings, the play that he brings. Mm -hmm. I, if he comes back, I don't expect him to play a whole game. I don't think he'll be ready to play an entire NFL football game that he's mm -hmm. been gone that long. Yeah. But I look for him to bring that excitement and that motivation to that uh, Seahawks defense. So you think he'll have the biggest impact? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. Did you have fun at the game? Oh, I had a, so much fun. Like I said, other than uh -huh, my ears <laughs> ringing from the 12, screaming what? so loud, but it was a lot of fun being there in the, in the environment, feeling the energy from the crowd and the fans, mm -hmm. and having that synergy from all of Seattle just being hyped up for the And a lot of legends game. there, too, I hear. Yeah, the guys, it was the 10th anniversary of the Super Bowl victory. All those old guys came back. I call them old, but they're kids to me, but um, they all came back. They had so much fun. From what I hear, it was hard getting them off the field when it was time. They went like, out go. There. Yeah, get it's time to get, you gotta, gotta time go. time is gone. Yes, yes. All right. Um, thank you for that. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell you what's happening All next right. right now. Uh, it is time to free your mind. Oh, I'm sorry I cannot sing this morning. Um, yes, you can get your tickets to In Vogue. The Powerhouse Girl Group is performing at the Muggle Shoot Event Ooh. Center on November 20th. So don't let go of this opportunity. <laughs> Visit the website on your screen. Y'all, I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite band in high school. I this love is TLC. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'll be there.